That's much better. Well, well, welcome back to the channel, everybody. Let's actually put this one in spot one. And let's play some PLO. To that effect, we have the 100 euro KO on Vinimax happening tonight. A small uh, 10 dollar Tonyo KO here. There's a 330 bounty, uh, which I've been playing on the side, just to warm me up. And there's the 11 mini as well. This one needs a different background. So it's star. Ooh, I like stars. Right, so here we just call this being the ten dollar one. Not the greatest flop. Checking sounds good. How about a little jack on the turn? We'll take an ace too. I mean chances are we still have the best hand. I likely won't fold just yet. Probably be sounds good. Could be any number of things. Could be a wheel draw. Could be spades. Could be that we're good. I like that little delay. It always means we're, we're good. Pretty much across all sides. I think there's this uh, tiny little delay before the chips get pushed over to you. Um, da, 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 we flop semi interesting here. You have an ace. That's a good start. Flop a jack down here, nursing a wrist part. This guy comes in with a bet. Return an open ender. Sorry, here. Another nine. Down, down there, that's nice. Um, do we have his queen? It's three, I think we'll let it be. Hey, that's interesting. Okay. Kings in 100 euro. We do hope we're not up against. Holy shit, we're up against everything. The straight and the nuts are. And now we get aces in the 10 euro. Decent start. This has flopped pretty well, I'd say. Um, four ways. I think we're still gonna go with a tiny bet. I'm gonna be defending the big blind at the 100 euro.
Hey, nice. More chips coming away. More chips coming away. Times two. Um, wait here. Oh, shit, we got a few interesting spots. Hang on. Here, that's a nice flop. And here we're gonna race. Checking here, and we're good. I just did something weird with my stream elements. Hang on. Okay, never mind. It's fixed. All right, hold your horses open in the uh, straight flush draw. We need to take it down on table two. Chicken for now, sounds good. Gives us a full house draw, so we have a whole bunch of redraws plus the second nuts. Well, uh, te technically the third nuts. Could be a straight flush out there. If it's quite large. Um... Wow. Well, that sucks. Double gut shot and that flush draw calling seems okay. We're gonna squeeze board pairing down here. Um Okay, sure. That answers that question neatly. And we flop things. That is a Pretty decent card, means we don't have to fold unless it's for a really big bet and a call maybe. Well, no, then we're not folding. What am I talking about? Pull. Oh, ain't that nice. Come on down here. Good stuff so far. So we're still a tiny bit distracted from another two uh, to make a change to the Vinamax software. Completing down here, for sure, for one BB more. It's a pretty neat effect. This is a really dry board. We also have a four blocking the only draw that's out there. So... Not raising here. Disappointed there's no bet going in. Never mind. Move to the table on in the big Vitamax.
Obviously, we lack pretty much any redraw except for backdoor gutter. That's not a good turn. But it's nice to have this turn heads up, I reckon. Let's be good. Good we are. Neat. Okay, I think we also can open like one cash game table at least. And the Pilot 10 going on. No Pilot 20 right now. There was some earlier. And there were some pretty fine characters sitting on these tables as well earlier today. I.e. this afternoon. There's also this where we have a really short stack. Alright. The Poker Matrix. How's it going, my friends? Ace is in the big one. Why, yes, yes, please. Pretty decent ones, too. So I figured out what was bothering me, or what was what felt unfamiliar in, in, on this one. Uh, in the bounties, on the, in the bounty terms on Winamax, and it's the way they uh, display their bounty. Like they don't, they display their entire bounty, and we will only get half of that if we take it. So they they choose to display it slightly differently than other sides do. Um, that's a fine squeeze. This is not a terrible card, at least not very often. Um. That certainly is not a fun run out. Here we're going to be playing for a bounty and we need to fold in the big one. Good start, good turn. Um, oh, we fill up. He actually turned to straight. Yeah. So picked up a bounty and a small one here. Bam, bam. Hey, nice to see you here, mate. Thanks for the good lucks. Um, so I called an attorney on the basis that the 7 doesn't help him all that often. At least he doesn't, you know, make the nuts very often as the undergun player. Maybe that's wrong versus uh, somebody who limped under the gun. Something I had not considered, in which case that wouldn't have made the best call. Since we certainly didn't get the odds to draw to our flush. And cash game, we turn to full house. Should be good. This is the short stack, stack, just calling. Seems fine. Oh, okay. Giving up here. The short stack takes it down to the 330 bounty. Now we get a much better hand there.
That seems all right. Holy faults. We've been three betting pretty much every hand here so far. Because we just kept getting the hands. Let's see if we can do it yet again. No. Bummer. See a flop for free in the big one in the 100 euro. No help, huh? We still have a top pair with a good kicker. Turn two pair here. Mm. I think this one we... Mm. I don't know. Ooh, baby. Pilo Hurts not have with... What an apt nickname. Thank you very much for the good lucks. Pilo is indeed a harsh mistress, often enough. Oh, wow. Um, hang on. So here versus the bounty, we're gonna... Um, let's see what we're gonna do. I think, yeah, we, I think we min-raise it and then take it from there. Hopefully this guy folds. And here... Okay, nice. We got the, yet another bounty. Um, but just call, I think. Pretty quick bet, my friend. What do you suppose that means? They beat everything except aces, hearts, and I guess queens, but queens are probably less likely, specifically since we hold one. Could be kings with the king of hearts. I think I'll risk looking stupid here and call. Uh, oh, aces and hearts. All right, cool. Um, hmm. I'll at least take a note. about how this went down for future reference. Maybe it'll net us some chips in the future because clearly here we were far behind.
Oh, wow. What a turn here. In a uh, limp pot, we were in the big blind, so we got to si see the flop for free. He bets large, which is weird. A little. Possibly get the job done. Flop the nuts down here. Um. Okay, let's do this first. And we actually improved to full house, so that's unexpected but pleasant. Oh, he comes in for the race. I wonder. Take it down with the full house, don't get called in the, ca in the cash game table. Takes it down, making this guy a good deal shorter. Yeah, I don't think I'll be turning this one into a bluff. I got to show this hand before. A small pot, no action. Pretty good. We do get a call. Quite nice. Kings in a five big blind splash and in the 10 euro bondy catch a very nice starting hand two pair down here down here look like everything else missed uh, pretty much um block check nine mm. all right see where this gets us oh 
Well, we also blocked nines. Doesn't keep him. Doesn't stop him from having it. Ace isn't a big one. Ace is king seven single. And down here another uh, fine starting it. Pretty similar to the one we had before. Not a good flop for us. Would not mind seeing a three bet. Also starting is the 550 bounty hunter on party. the bluff we have shown them value now and we show down and get value neat and the law good to see you Oh, that's a very wide player here. Has some aggressiveness in him too. Actually, some thrilling going on from his end already. I guess one three bet. went in here. Wow. That'll be fun. Hey, is this shocker? Oh, he had a seven now. Yeah, okay. Do we cover him? We do. Let's see if we can make something off that. Falling here, not with a bounty play. <coughs> Excuse me. Let me get it in. 
20% on a turn is beautiful. Um, we go for a little stab there. Here the king's turn actually pretty all right, I'd say. Here we take it down. That is awesome. I lost some chips needlessly there. So I'm happy to see some coming back in our direction. He bets again. I mean, really? Yeah, I almost, man, at some point I'll learn to fold here. Like, what, what is he betting three times there? Or twice, I guess. Fold Kipri trying to get people over to the dark side, claiming they have cookies. Mm, I have my doubts. That cookie might be a lie. Good to see you. Oh, MFG, also here. Nice to see you guys. Lover right there. Take it down with the three bet. And switch the cash game tables to one where we're six-handed, so it's not as taxing, it's not as distracting. Also a good turn. down here apparently so doing finally 10 euro version of the Vinimex KO today we we're second in chips right now we took one home took home one bounty as well oh interesting Nastiness. How's life treating you, Kippery? What with um, having quit your job and now focusing on poker, how's it going so far? I am certainly gonna call here. This guy has a pretty humongous bounty. In the meanwhile, we call this race. Okay. Payouts have been posted here, and I really wish I had folded there with the kings. I'll learn someday elsewhere. Go for a small step. Um, okay. You take it, sir. To cover this guy. That's good.
Unreal, nice to see you back. So far, my day is starting off all right. Hope yours is too. How did your uh, session end uh, yesterday? Did you make uh, yet another final table? Unreal, also an up-and-coming uh, streamer, recently started turning the webcam on and putting his play out there. And plays No Limit and PLO tournaments. Check him out, he's a good guy. If everybody folds, I might make um, go for a call here. We can help we cover him for a bounty. Let's do that. Up an open ender. Turn Peter Neat down here. Open ender in the back door flush draw, I guess. Take it down to the 550. That's a pair for us. I guess he has like kings or queens or whatever, but probably not an ace. Yeah, I, thought, I actually remembered that the Discord is, exists a couple of... Not, not in a, you know, uh, not making fun of it. I just... There's so many things going on. And I know you have a lot of people in the Discord. It's not, I didn't mean to imply anything bad there. Uh, I, I remembered your Discord a couple of days ago is what I'm trying to say. And... I thought pretty much that to me, uh, to, to, my, to myself there. Like, man, I really should be visiting the Discord uh, more often. But last couple of... Last weeks have been pretty crazy busy on my end. She joined a study discord where I wasn't able to a put any input in there and b take any input from uh, from other guys uh, from it, so I just didn't have the time. Now, that's not true. You could always make the time, but I was already making time for a good deal of other things. Long story short, uh, I will, I'll I'll take a look at it uh, in the next days. I'll try. Thinking of a turn. That's not it.
Let's put some bounties here. Do flop a queen. Getting close to money in the 330, but we definitely need help getting their ticket down here. I'm still gonna call. Like we're very likely not gonna make the money without doubling up. Did find a table out and six. Hey, you did find a table. Awesome. Out and six. Um, fair enough, fair enough. But another final table. Well done. Happy for you. I'd love to hear it. one guy for now on this table. Well, well, well. Grog Frog, it is nice seeing you here. Welcome back, mate. Um, <laughs> I stick it on pre in the 11 mini. I think this is just a. No, whatever. This is just to get it in. And we get beautiful aces down here. But let's stick with those for the moment. Well, they are not aces, but let's stick with the tens then. Okay, some potential. Back to flash bar, not got our. All right, I guess we're not folding. Two pair in the gutter over here, and he checks to us out. But this too. Are we taking this down? No. Exactly, right? He has a queen. Um, against which we were doing okay. But we finished 28th, and that is also okay. For a given value of okay. I wish I hadn't made the call with the 10s there earlier. The six pairing. You had a good one, Kippery? So you're saying I should have uh, bought action? I was thinking about it too. Nice, tell us more. What's the story behind that small the screen grab? I'm not seeing much information there. Just that you have, an, you have a very awesome uh, RI. Wait, am I, maybe am I missing something there? I 
Not sure what I'm looking at. Well, that's not true. I know what I'm looking at, but it doesn't tell me much. So tell me the story. Give me the details. Give me the, the dirty details. Eleven mini, I'll certainly go for another bullet if need be. See you flop for free, always fun. Fifty. Can we get one through here? Let me check some we river quite nice. over here how about it there is a move in front that's nice let's take down another bounty why don't we take another one are you shitting me bye bye just want to become famous spam has really gotten out of hand the last days Um, sure, that'll do. Let's see what we're up against. Oh. I get 100%. Awesome! Now let's start running like this in the big one. Not that I'm complaining, don't get me wrong. Here, for the bounty, with the flush draw, um... Small for now seems sort of okay. No checking. Maybe I should start mixing in some checks here. I feel I have a very high betting frequency in spots like these. Make a set over here. That's a good turn. Especially with us holding the king there as well. Call check to him and oh, holy shit! Are you serious? Wow. <laughs> Can't do much about that. There's a down here. So we have a gutter. We have over cards. We have to flush draw. Um. All right. I think we go with it. Our flush draws life. Okay. We need an ace or a five. Deuce is not gonna do it. Should I send over here in the big one? Okay, 
Okay. It has to be good, but I really doubt it. Short break coming up in a minute. What really blows about this is that we, for now, don't cover the uh, don't cover anyone for a bounty. But they do catch a nice hand on the flip side. Does anybody playing poker today? Pokerful remains to be seen. I'm at the table. So if I'm playing poker, that will have to figure out together. Nice to see you back. And you went out. I caution Nenigans. Oh. I'll raise this and flop pretty nice here. Things are a little bit neater. And so they are here in this run out. To take it down, I believe we got a call there. Here we didn't, but take it down with the jacks. And for the last hand before the break, we're gonna shove in the 11 mini. Queens. It's too bad. Do it hurry up. People need their breaks. <laughs> what the fuck is this? You got 100 to 1. Like, literally. All right. A little bit back in the mini as well. Uh, need help on the uh, W series up here. We'll see what we can do about that once we come back. And there's also a second bullet we could fire. And for now, it would make sense. We would start with uh, ADBB with this guy's deck, basically. All right. I'll see you in less than five minutes. Chairs rising fast here at this final table. <laughs> But still some chips to work with, 23 big blinds. As we see, Patrick Serta still at the chip lead with 100 blinds. Pesh, good start, up to 7.6. Emma, the most active at the table with uh, 7.5 million. And Jackman getting involved here. We have a lot of our viewers out there asking, what is the password to the cent roll where you can win those three Caribbean poker party seats worth $8,000 each? It is WPTPG. Hello to everyone on, well, all the places where you can, are watching this final table. Hope you're having a good time. If you have any questions, you can let me know on Twitter at Jonathan Little. I'm happy to answer any questions that you all have. But yes, it is WPTPG. Get in there, 800,000 times your money. Really interesting to note here. It looked like um, Kazv again op uh, folded, open folded the, uh, the Queen 10 off here at the on the button, I think it was. Uh, interesting to see him do that after he was opening the king seven at the cutoff and then shoving in four bets with the... Wow, we see Pesh getting tricky and Sorrell also getting a bit tricky. Well, Great check back by Sorrell here. He limped in. Uh-oh. We might see it all in. Yeah, it's all gonna go in here, for sure. So the question is though, if Pesh bets, maybe Sorrell decides to just call, being in position. Yeah, I think that he would just call. I think he's a bit too deep. Um, he's also gonna be able to bluff the turn a lot, or, or bet, yeah, bet yeah. the turn a lot. You know, I think that, for instance, if the turn's a, a jack, let's say, um, 
you know, if, if when, when Pesh bets again, Sorel will comfortably be able to, to shove with his massive draw. Um, but he's not looking to raise this flop and then have to call it off. Um, you know, I mean, he, he would comfortably, but it's like he doesn't need to. Right. Um, and there is always value in just conserving chips at a final table, yeah. where if you lose this hand, maybe you somehow don't lose all of your money. And these two hands are incredibly high up in their <laughs> ranges. I mean, when you think about the limp check, snap check back kind of hands people are going to have, uh, you know, there's a lot of players with the queen 10 suited that would have just shoved with the 22 bigs, uh, expecting Pesh to fold so often. But Sorel, obviously with ICM to consider and feeling comfortable going post lock with such an underrepresented hand. And Sorel is just a bit more disciplined than a lot of players. He comes from the old school ICM strategy of try to not give away your money. <laughs> That said, he has Ray's folded it off four times. Interesting to see Pesh uh, opt to bet instead of check this eight turn. Uh, obviously, Sorel can have some eights here. Uh, but, but both Pesh players could have the eights, I yeah, think. Yeah, absolutely, yeah. And there are a lot of draws available. Definitely. They've got shots and whatnot that will definitely call the flop. And if you think about Sorel's normal checking range, mm -hmm. it should be 10-7. And, and stuff Sorel like folded. Sorel folds. Wow. wow. Well, I thought he'd be all in on that flop. I thought he might be all in on the turn there. I mean the turn. I mean, you just yeah. didn't think he'd give it away with two over cards as well. Wow. That was a That's pretty a pretty snug fold there. Pretty disciplined lay Maybe he there. just, he knows he's lost every pot so far. He might as well just lose the minimum. <laughs> <laughs> you know, uh, the best piece of poker advice I probably ever got was from Mike McDonald. And he said, uh, be looser in, in spots people won't expect and tighter in spots people won't expect. Yeah. And, uh, and right there, I mean, that's certainly tighter than any of us expected from Sorel, but he was absolutely crushed with the Queen-10 suited and, uh, so and great he decides to instincts. preserve the chips and keep the 20 big blinds, which is a very comfortable, you know, re-jam stack. And, um, and yeah, Sorel, he's, he's going to find a way to survive. He's going to play this 20 big blind stack better than most people, too, I imagine. I agree. Back to the scent roll, though. Get in there and get it. Make sure, though, keep gambling enjoyable. Please play responsibly, and you have to be 18 years or older, and all the terms and conditions apply. So go 800,000 times your money. If you win, send me a message on Twitter, at Jonathan Little. If you've never played poker before, I'll teach you to play very, very quickly. Your opinion is, Mike, just from, you know, once you've been there a few times, I feel like you, you know how to handle it. You've seen, you know, it's, it never happens in a straight line if over the course of a tournament. You're going to lose that big flip or that big hand. Uh, you know, it's not just going to be a straight shot to the finish line. So I think these guys, you know, have a lot of experience, millions of dollars in earnings between them. And uh, Sorrell, of course, the biggest. So he knows, he knows what's up. Yeah, I mean, one of the most famous theories in poker, I think, is you can't control the luck factor, but you can control how you react to it. So... Mm -hmm. Those that stay calm, eat. Oh, what happened? Lots of things in the chat. Hang on. Would have folded turn already. Subichnor, hey, welcome back. The tens with the tens with the tens. Oh, there, yeah. Oh, there, yeah. <laughs> Fucking hell. I did have the king, yeah. Rip turn and GG, yeah. yeah. That would have been exactly it. story that's true everybody loves a good bad beat story right this color yellow uh timid tight generally speaking move to a new table let's see what the new one is like mm, eh, doesn't make a difference to us compared to the first one fourth out of 25 remaining here um later act will be over once this level is over so in three and a half minutes Fine, we took home 450 in bounties, took home two bounties so far. First place would be, first and second would be 62 euros, so 160, uh, 120, 200 euro, 280. If you're in really well with the bounties. Get to 
call for half a BB with a pocket pair. Let's do that. Oh, they're getting it in. Really hope this guy wins, because then this guy is shorter. 8 9, but no such luck. Oh, no, actually, the, exactly that kind of luck. Perfect. Kikazi, thank you very much. Hey, it might just be working. Might just be working. Where's the jacks? Not so much. I mean, we now have pretty decent blockers, but we're five ways. Oh, the horses. Let's get our first bounty in the 550. And we cover him too. Let's get two of them for the price of one. He calls as well, that's annoying. Alright. Bound to be kings out there, right? What happened? Oh, I, I couldn't figure that one out at the runtime at all. No, that was a nice part. Not fallen to a raid. At least not to a raid from one guy here. Let's see. Might fall to a squeeze. Okay, could hand here. Gonna be a raise. Yeah, we're certainly falling if this guy squeezes. He hasn't raised a single time yet. He has raised once. Let me correct myself. Flop the nut flush rod on here now. Family limp pot. Okay. No joy. Not the fine, not the most fun spot for these guys. Since here's a reshuffle stack. Need to fold here as well. Here with the gap. That's a good question. Jack ten. I think Jack ten is still good enough. Oh boy, top pair versus a big stack here as well. Sort of with a check. Let's get some ships back, please. Put some money in, everyone. Please, because I, I don't know what to do if you don't. Also not falling to a raise, you can still raise with a straight going for the bounty. Could raise with 7-8 with deuces. Or we could just get some chips back, let's go! And he did have to straight. At least I think that's what happened. Yep. To 9 beautiful.
So late rack is now over and this seven places can paid. Out of curiosity, what is the min cash in these? I really, <clears throat> I really played them once or twice. I don't really know. That's a little, just a tiny bit more than the buy-in. 12 euros. Okay. Good to know. Kipri, love your enthusiasm and appreciate the well wishes. We've got uh, the 15k. I don't know if you're talking about the same. Uh, hang on. Not sure if we're talking about the same tournament. The 15k guaranteed was the one on Vinimax where I min cashed in the end. Only for one bullet, so the second unused bullet went back into the staking package as well in the payouts. Uh, the stars tournaments, we didn't cash any of them, unfortunately. Um, this is a bit too wide. Calling here seems okay for one BB. Welcome back, uh, Fifka. Sorry if I've not gone for the full name. Uh, that's a tough one for me. If it's all right by you, I'll just use the first part of your name. <laughs> um, yeah. Gonna pop it here, trying to get that bounty. And here. We do bet. Get aces done here, let's go. And he does get it in, um, so let's eight. <clears throat> we did take it down on this table, which is nice. Down here, uh, I don't know what to do, man. Okay, now I know. So that was annoying. The DA is eight. Uh, got the better of us there. What it is, what it is. Bit seven! Nice to see you! So we still have an open ender. We have a flush draw. The overpair, not. We actually have a gutter to the straight flush, too. The overpair, not really meaningful. And there's a bounty there. Okay. In a limp part, I decided to limp along on the button. Turn quite nice. Let it go, obviously, here. Alright, back with the stack in this one, and now covering two peeps as well. Let's see if we can make something of that. Take it down on there. Move to a new table, what's the new situation? Cover this guy, cover this guy. Cover this guy for a decent bounty. Okay. I wonder how long it takes you to um, get the 
to do the welcome message every time. I appreciate them every single time. Uh, and they are among the best. They are the best that I that I see on this channel. Nice to see you back. You go ahead, disrupt the piece a little bit. And if you want to see her all peaceful in her own channel, then check out the link in the chat and check out Chiching's channel. Well, worth your time. Holy crap. Um, hmm. Oh, speaking of holy crap, holy crap again. You would have a four and would find a shaft. That would be insane, but that's not what's happening. I guess with the queen uh, blocking the straight draw and this is not spades I could have just checked there I'm um, check here call if call uh, for sure maybe he wants to bluff awesome well not quite a semi bluff I guess he does more straight slightly brainy sure Um, way to put me on the spot. I can see uh, a good amount of appeal in all of options one, two, or three. <laughs> Quite frankly. He raises. That is okay. Let's just flop a king. This could be good enough. Min race. Not his first race. It's not like he's super tight. And we found our spot in the uh, big bounty here. We could check. So he bets. What do we do? I think we raise. Might be a bit of fold equity. If you're behind, like, uh, if he has aces, we have a good amount of outs. Let's go. Maybe we can get a bounty. Buy a naked flush draw. That'd be awesome. Shoving here. He does have aces. And remains good, sadly. So we're knocked out of this one. Close-ish to the money. Bit of a pity. Call it. No, I really want you to call. Come on, come on. Let's get your chips. Let's get your bounty. Do it. Oh, you're making me tingly. Do it. Oh. Okay. Um, I th think we are going to call for, you know, the obvious bounty related reason. See a raise. If everybody calls, we're closing actually, we're still gonna call as well. Willing to risk a few trips here. I mean, basically, only this guy needs to call for us to get in there. A three bit pot. And he does only call, which is awesome. Alright, let's flop it, man. Let's flop it. Oof. Everybody check, please. Calling down here, I think. Okay, not necessary. Please check. All right, now just a seven. That's all we need. Wait, no. Let me rephrase. A jack. I'll take a seven, too.
Bit 7. Need to sign some paper for a new truck. What? There was that 7. No, 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 no. The only other queen. Oh, God. I wish I hadn't seen that. You know what? I think there's a the 1650 bounty on stars. Let's play that as well. I no, no, can't really say that I do. Just because there's very little live poker in Germany that is really attractive. I did play a little bit on my travels. I spent a week in Vegas and played uh, Limit for Eight because that was all the all all the, uh, that I could afford. Actually, I could have afforded uh, five ten, but that wasn't uh, running anywhere in the rooms on the strip. Look at this one. But yeah, I'd love to. It's not that I, I don't want to, but I, I, I'd love to. Yeah, so in Germany, or I mean, we have the King's Casino really close by, but that takes an outrageous rake, which is also true for all German casinos. So, not to mention that, you know, there's different bankroll requirements for live poker. So it wouldn't f uh, fit me from that vantage point right now at all. But even, I, even if I had the bankroll, I don't know if I would be doing too much live poker here just because of Toreka. It's a little too harsh. Fine. Starting in here in the... 1650 KO. So what's the new truck bit seven? Let us know. Yeah, there's also that. Yeah, right. What, right, right now with uh, COVID, there's uh, live pokers even more hampered, or basically even less existent, I guess. Um, not the finest flop. Same is true here. Shot folding here.
take it down with the buff. Jacks and threes, eh? That's a nice flop. And we could take down our first bounty to 1650. If all goes well. Here we take it down. Well, I guess here we take it down as well. I guess we could be taking down two bounties. Let's just an ace will do. Or, you know, three deuces or something. All right, I guess we get some of it back. Oh, we got a bounty too, apparently. All right, that eases the pain a little bit. I actually replied that all of all of options one to three uh, sometimes have their appeal. See, that's how honest I am. I could have gotten out of that one, right? ESDB. Okay, that's not geared towards me. Those two basin stakes played. Um, hang on. So they take, I think the percentage is similar. Here we are going to call. Get his bounty. Could get his. No, his we couldn't get. Um, turns out we want to get none. All right. Um, so I think the percentages are the same. They might be a tad higher, but the rate cap is insane. And in, in, in terms of euros, it's like 22 or 25 euros that they take. And that's even at NL1 or 2. Okay, then a 5 will do. Um, and if you turn it into Canadian, that's like, I've, like let's see, yeah, it's been ages since I checked the exchange rate. In Canadian dollars, it would be 34 dollars, a tad more. So yeah, tiny bit insane. The Bounty Hunter Turbo is also kicking off, and we get aces in the mini. Queen into flush draws. I think we have to go with it. And for bluff here, and it worked. That's nice. He has a king, two pair now. We need a queen or nine. Otherwise, we're out and out we are. Don't think we want to re enter that at this point, do we? Mm. 
Да. They've actually already exceeded their uh, guarantee in the 100 euro bounty. Price but now selling at 3 uh, 30k, 30.5k. It's not too shabby. And later is for another mm, oh, for a while. Like for another half hour, 45 minutes. Not even longer, for another hour. Okay. So if we were to, if we needed to re-enter right now, we'd be re-entering with a little more than this kind of stack, 20k. So close to 50 BB. Right. I mean, I prefer to avoid it. much better hand and here this is one we're gonna go with holy crap that's nice um that'll be a squeeze for sure let's go not sure what's happening down here so we better flop uh check the turn see what's gonna happen Raise the status, unfortunate. Well, maybe not. Let's see. Ooh, we need a lot of help. Mm, not coming. All right, second bullet of this, then. Fucking hell. Dead in no time. <laughs> yeah, uh, we won't uh, need her because uh, they're all in uh, the hands of the government. You can't like 
just opened a casino in Germany. Let's see, friends in high places, I guess. No, they're all uh, they're all owned by the government, which is also another sad thing. So they're not like you know pure poker rooms or anything. Sadly enough. All right, let's make the second bullet count. Again, I think the or not necessarily again. The, the, the only hand I'm not happy with is the one in the beginning where I called a turn for putts as bad with the flush draw. And the aces. Other than that, meh. I think it was pretty standard for the most part. If not for all of it. Let me get in here. Let's open up a cash game too, too. Okay. Just a three and a turn will do. Kingsiest Kings. Does not have Kings. Elected only call, you know, we would have had a few chips left at least. To potentially get something going there. Oh, that was good. That's exactly what we needed. shots we shove over the top and collect the first bounty. Please check it at this point, sir. That would be nice of you. Well, come on. And instead we take one down. All right. Dealer. Also, a three thirty hyper kicking off. Move this over here. That being said, uh, Ching, I did hear that even, uh, you know, the low stakes uh, life apparently can be beat in, in Germany. So apparently there's enough bad players 
that's all you know second or third hand information though and um king's casino which is the biggest poker room in europe it's apparently it's huge from what i heard as in vega style huge basically um that has the same rig yeah right yeah you know what actually i didn't i i forgot about that that seeing that you had the uh, casino in the in the native reservations uh, the casinos and the native res reservations i had forgotten that they're government owned but now that you mentioned it yeah duh they, they are they were Plop, fine the hyper this is annoying but this is just annoying All right, we shove. Take it down here. Oh God, thank you. Not great queens, but queens in the Vinamax 100. happening whatsoever good at true decision <laughs> Carthage hey thanks for checking out the channel or coming back I quite can't quite remember at this point <laughs> Carthage hey thank you for saying that yeah it's mostly just not my nature to you know do that what I did notice is that playing tournaments is bringing out the swearing in me. I tend to swear like a sailor. Quite a bit. Not today so far, though. No, cheers. Appreciate you saying that. That's uh, nice to hear. I mean, you know, for those other streamers, if it's within their, if it's genuine, if it's their personality to be like that, then I, I, I also can enjoy that. If they force it, it's a different story. Okay. Interesting turn here. Okay, so we make the flush and he checks again, making me want to bet small. The flush on table one, I'll check. Open the board doesn't pair, you'd take it down, which it does. Um, we still bet small. We got our more chips. That is nice. Flap jam, you're a sexy man. I really very rarely heard that in life. So I'll not comment on that any further. Take it at fast value and put it in the memory bank. A comment that will sure to make me happy in future days. Thank you. 
I'll take that. Cheers. Life casinos. Flap and jam has to grind me gone. Hang on, I'll get back to that. You beast. Alright, checking here. Sounds good for now. Let's see what happens with the pair days as they flop. Meh, they flop great blockers, but. Gotta check. Still gonna get caught by a lot of two pair and type of hands. In here, let's get a good turn, man. That is an exceedingly nice one. We don't have a king of spades either, so maybe something gets going here. We'll just, you know, hate life a little bit and fold. Checking here again quickly, too. Oh, come on! You could have done something there. Another king. I'll make it an ace, so just lock it up for us. Okay, fair. Let's not get greedy. I'll take this run out, too. Uh, Ray Kikazi, um, maybe you missed it. We were talking about it just a few minutes ago. They take, I think the percentage is roughly the same. I think. I'm not entirely sure. Hang on. Wanna, I do want to watch this. Oh, we would have had a full house. Not that we would have ever called. With 10 3 deuce deuce. Um, so the, the thing that's really different is the rate cap, where they take um, in euros up to at, up to and around uh, 25 euros, I think. That's even for no limit 200. So it's just insane. And if you put it into Canadian dollars, I, that was like 34, then dollars is probably. Twenty-seven, twenty-eight, something like that. Well, you're between Kyle and. Hang on, I'll check it out. You're Kyle Z. Oh, there you are. Hey, that's fair. Right across from me this time. Nobody has a positional advantage here over time. That's cool. Two pairs, also cool. You're now sitting on double the starting stack in the big 100, by the way. Uh, late track isn't over yet. 47 places get paid for now. Uh, the house to grind be gone. Flap and jam. Pretty decently. Last days have been uneventful. Uh, one day I only brought my B game. I felt at least to one tournament. There was another one in this tournament where we just got, got screwed. Um, twice in big parts and that was it. Um, otherwise, yeah, the last days uneventful. I made like one or two final tables, but in really tiny tournaments, they really don't they really don't matter. In the grand scheme of things, I mean it was still nice. And other than that, I mean if you if you want to see how uh, if you if you want to see the recent results, or at least places I didn't bother to put the dollar values in there, how much we won, then check out uh, exclamation point recent. That bot command will give you what happened, well, recently. Or roughly the last six weeks, I think. Next time I'm gonna feel, or in the future, I'll put the uh, winnings in there as well. Just because it's kind of nice to have that. is in the hyper. All right. Phew. Oh, nasty. And the Vinamex Pro Tour left here is on fire now.
I'm really torn between folding this and uh, calling, uh, potentially playing for the bounty. F folding seems fine because we have this guy behind and he's never going to fold himself. A pair I got our back to flush, I was not going to do it. Would be a bit of a nastier or uh, more dicey spot had we had two backdoor flushes, I guess. But we don't, so that's all right then. Kind of hope he calls and he loses. Oh, holy shit, that would be awesome if he calls and loses. In the bounty, we're going to bet our trips. And actually bolt up there. That's pretty neat. Speaking of neat, well, first of all, he folds. That is not neat. But what is neat is flopping this. We do get a call and we are back with chips, baby. Okay, puts a queen jack out there for, for sure. It's a possibility. I'm not. Let's see. Let's see what happens. Any queen would be nice. Table and poker stars. Really? Easy little finish. And now you're gonna. Uh, so it's uh, flip nine, huh? Let's see where you are. Where you're at? Not on this one. Here we fold. Um, we might. You might have just gotten moved off the table. Damn it! I saw it too late. I would have loved to give you the label friend of the stream, of course. Nothing but. Yeah, I don't think you're. On our table anymore. Too bad. Kikazi, if you're on other tables, um, I'm only on one um, Rio table. So while it's awesome of you to let me know, yeah, I'm just on one right now. Here is gonna be a re jam, obviously. What you re reopen the action then? One, two, three, keep it going. And here we make a not flush, should be good. He just called. How the fuck can you just call? People are. People are the worst. Some people, eh? Fucking hell. Don't even know what we do if he folds. I mean, if he folds, we call, I guess. Does he just call? I'll never get it, man. I'll never get it. Oh, we pot up here. Great, and leaves this guy a good deal shorter. Yeah, I know. That's not the whole story, though, with the cap. I mean, that's that's for the rake, but you uh, usually end up paying like six or seven dollars most casinos. Some of them made with a uh, uh, the drop for the badly jackpot or various other promotions, right? I think that's what I had, like $7 cap. I think one or two places had 8 for some reason. But that's how I remember it, at least vaguely and from, you know, years ago.
He folds. I think we jam. Oh god, man. A king would still be good. A four would be good. A nine would be eh. Interesting, I guess. I think we need fold. Ah, oh, that hurts. That hurts. And he made some chips back. That's also annoying. Not as annoying as this four, though. Oh, well. Still think the fold with the guys behind is okay. In the squeeze part, we flop quite all right. Going for the bluff here. I don't want to be smaller here, not blocking um, the straights at all. And he does fold. Good for us. Good race, holding double suited kings here. Let's flop something neat. That's not it. Take it down to the cash game table. There's no in here. Why did I fold? Queen Jack 10 5. Yeah, okay, that's fine. Two backdoor flushes, but we have a nice stack. Do I want to jeopardize it for a min bounty? Probably not. For a hand that like against the hand that likely beats us right now. There's another break coming up. Why do I always forget about the breaks? I'll gladly take it though. Oh, I moved. Okay, yeah. Uh... We'll have to do it when we're at the final table then. Okay guys, I'll see you in um, around four minutes. some interesting turn cards sometimes oh, yeah, and yeah. against a, a range of hands that you kind of are pretty pretty clear about you know if emma calls in the big she often has a 10 or a six and if it turns a king you can blast it with the queen jack etc so yeah yeah the hand selection is great but the the 10 6 3 flop is what i was a little bit surprised on like jack 7 3 i'd be way more inclined right. to do it with you know king queen or whatever monstrous flop here for for jack i think he's got the board a bit too clipped to decide to come out raising here so he's just going to be calling pesh certainly way behind in this hand but maybe you don't expect him to lose too much there's not much of a reason for pesh to continue betting in this spot if he does bet, he needs to bet real small to try to get value from the... The four, four. the queen jacks, yeah. Right, from the gut shot hands. And the open into straight draw hands. And that's actually a great river for Pesh, um, just in the context of uh, not really going to be able to find a call in the river a lot of the time. Um, you know, I think he certainly folds a lot of other brick rivers too, based on Jack's sizing and what he deduces, what kind of hand he has. But with the nine coming, it just, you know, fills in so much that... I don't think Pesh would uh, think that Jack is necessarily turning ace seven into a bluff all the time. And that's really one of the few hands that he can actually beat, I think. Right, say the river was instead of a three, mm -hmm. then you still beat ace queen, ace, ace jack. Well, it is, jack, jack, it is Jack's nine. big, it is, Jack is the bi it's a big blind hand. So yeah, certainly some draws, less weighted to the ace queens and ace jacks, I think. But sure, sure. But now a lot of the draws came in, is what I'm saying. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Many of the draws completed, therefore you should be more inclined to fold marginal made hands like this. Yeah. Pesh with his trademark green on green look. The Prince of Poker, they call him. Like the, like the musical artist. I see. <laughs> Players will be going on a 15-minute break in about 15 minutes. They've been playing for a little 
Uh, so they will be playing for about two hours between the breaks today. Levels at the final table are one hour. <coughs> A little surprised no one has gone broke yet, given how much all the players have been aggressively fighting. But sometimes that happens. And we can see Patrick liking that cutoff open spot. Oh yeah. He's not gonna get through. Nice jam spot. Big Daddy Cavs again. Put on a show, Patrick. No need to put on a show when everyone's going to know your cards in 30 minutes. <laughs> and definitely no need to put on a show when there's a 30-second action clock because, well, if you're going to put on a show, you can only do a 30-second show. All the players love the action clock, the fact that it just moves the game along, it lets people play more hands. I'm back just in time to, out of the corner of my eyes, see Kikazi taking down a nice poker, pot. Not to Congrats, man. So, how we doing? In a bounty, middle of the pack, full in place, getting paid, late rack not over yet. Let's see what the guarantee is. 35, um, has been exceeded, oh, you know that already, 35k right now in the prize pool. Um, in the mini gladiator, top third, in the peel bounty that last, in the 11 bounty there, turbo. In the 1650, um, not doing all that great, took down one bounty, but also not horrible. Have some chips, have to make a few moves. In the hyper, how are we doing in the hyper? Oh, we're doing all right. And then there's the cash game table. And with that, we're back. And the same tourney too in the 3.30. Erna 8, hey, thanks for checking out the channel. In the 3.30, it would be that one. All right, so somewhere around here, Erna 8 is sitting. Good luck, Erna. From Slovenia, well, then we could probably... Guernsey, oh, maybe you moved. Yeah, we see a flop for free. Fine by me. Flop to pair. Um, I think we check. The board doesn't get much better uh, very often, but we're five-handed here. Go there. For, go to, go into the Omaha world for fun. It certainly is a fun place to be in. Sometimes cruel, but very often, at the very least, fun. Better to call the shots I cause. Alright, let's just turn a nine. Make life easy. A deuce. Um, deuce is not great. So, but freezes the action for now. We get there in the river. Or we could still be good, I mean, don't get me wrong. Almost prepared to wager he has quads, but we won't find out. Vicious cause, such a bad play. Yeah, right! I do hate it. It happens often enough in the micros. It, this even. Wait, this. In what tournament was that? Oh, that wasn't 1650, okay. I'm... It's not quite the micros anymore, but still, yeah, and uh, super annoying. And we have the chip leader, or one of the chip leaders here, I would assume, with a humongous bounty already. Life's good for this guy. More big pass being played here. Okay, potential there. Anna, thanks for the greetings. 
Greetings back from Eastern Germany. That's a good turn. I would have called the 2BB, but not calling that. Off the bar is here. I'm checking, see what he does. Nice to see you off the bar. It's gone okay-ish. We're in the second bullet here. I think I only made one mistake that like, that was glaring, glaringly obvious to me. I might have made some more. And I call on a... I made a call on a turn that maybe that I didn't, didn't get the pot outs for. Still have none of the outs. Doesn't matter. In the sense that it doesn't matter to go into the full details at this point. Um, other than that, it's going okay. Up in two pair here going with it if you need to. Oof. Annoying. <laughs> hey, this is less annoying. I'll actually check this. This is really no turn that we hate. Holding here. Hand happening here, and he bets. I mean, we just call this. We probably won't get this guy in, but still, unless he calls as well, which would be amazing. Um, call this race, otherwise, we race ourselves. Turn the nut flush draw as well. Flop top two. Without a redraw, we're just going to be checking here, I think. Still a fine hand. I think we've got still, we're, we're okay betting here. Nice. How's life going for you off the bar? Hope all is well. And we fill up. Unfortunately, also the nut flush comes in. Keep him from calling, but maybe he has deuces or king deuces, which I doubt, but never know. It's just a small hyper we're doing on the side. Chase DA is also here. It's going quite alright, all things considered. That's a good flop, um, all things considered. If Jason calls here, we're gonna call as well. Holy shit, this guy raises and has a big bounty. I'm almost tempted, but I don't think I'm tempted enough. Nah, it's not connected enough. I guess we get it in. Mm, never mind, we still call. Oh, um, bottom set here. Limp pot. All right, I think we jam. Still protecting against flush draws. We have outs against um, most hands. Actually, that's stupid. No, we don't. The hands that beat us now, we don't have outs. Well, we have one out, I guess. It's a good hand to be up against, and that's a very, very nice river. Shazam! They're still, in, uh, still working this pot. This guy folded, that is awesome for us, since he's also a short stick. That song already sounds really weird. 
There's a sad run out. But we still take it down. In a splash pot we ended with a slightly weaker hand. Cough, cough. Um, we, if he calls, we're priced in. We're gonna call as well. Payouts have been posted here. 67 euro bounty. I think we wager one and a half BB. On the off chance that we flop amazing. Also with the hope that nobody raises here. Slow play the better flush. Well done. So with that, we're currently six in the hyper, which doesn't mean that much. Since it's a hyper, it's very volatile, but it's nice to have 50 BB at this point. Turn up an ender. Hmm. Could be a thing. Let's say it's time for this toast one. 23, nice. Now that is the reason to be pleased. I'm happy for you, uh, Chase DS. That sounds very nice. Um, we only calling if this guy calls, I think. Yeah, we'll let it be. tomorrow i don't know it might not happen at least not with me being there since it looks as if i'm gonna be meeting friends tomorrow so i don't know well i was prepared uh he blimped and he limped so with a really shitty hand but with the pair i was prepared to again wager one bb but that's not how this is gonna end um, we got a few other spots. Hang on. Don't even want to look. Don't want to see a three rolling off. Down here, down here. Do we have a... No three. Good news. Okay, we split three ways. That doesn't happen often. I think I should have just jammed the flop. I believe that was a mistake. You know what? I'm gonna abort with the quick call. I don't like it. But I'm value is pretty, pretty pretty slim, but yeah. Yeah. We had a flush. We took a few chips back in this one. Okay, we're gonna go for a bounty. Come on. Let's go. Come on, aces are never good there. So many outs on the turn. Nice hand, nice hand.
pretty nice. Seeing race part could be raised by a very aggressive player here. Holy shit, really? Oh, that was one nasty run out for you, mate. them for us. No chance none of these guys is gonna call. Let's flop a nice flop and that works. Come on, let's get some chips back, get another bounty. <laughs> Dude, the 1650 hates me. I don't even know why I keep playing it. Every time I bust there, I say that I'll never play it again. It just it hates me. It positively hates me. I never do really well on that one. Um, we're down to 300 here. That's a little bit too involved for me right now. Let's find another table. Find one, then let's find one that's at least four-handed. Before playing one last hand. I'm also gonna shove here. Well, part of it, I mean. Good enough for now. And we get aces into 550 mini. Just gotta walk. Um, we'll have to do this SPR top and bottom. I 
find a rather interesting turn up here. Um, raise fold is an okay move. Board pairs, they're gonna bet. Let's take it down. Ah, the heart is really annoying, yeah. Bluff here. Yeah, it is exactly that tournament. Yeah. That is exactly what it is. Oh, come on. Okay, I took down the small one here. Somewhat unexpected one. Unreal, right? right? I'll, I'll just not play it anymore. Like, for real, not play it anymore. I, I'm not superstitious at all. It's just. It's been scientifically proven that I do run like crap in that one. What can you do? So we still cover this guy. We have kings and fours. We are gonna raise here. Um, Change of plans. Here, since, well, for the obvious reason, not gonna win this at showdown. Weasel, not yet, no, second bullet. Um, still gonna call you once we have full house outs for sure. He might just be, I doubt he's full of it. I think it's alright. <laughs> Thanks for the good luck. So I need it. Uh, so far, it has been a pretty unremarkable run in the sense that um, we just didn't win many bots. No major bad beats, nothing like that. Just meh. Just meh. Yeah, meh. Basically describes this turn pretty well so far. Squeezing here. With an, an ace and a six in our hand. Go for a small step. Thanks for the shout, I completely forgot off the bar. How is it going, Weasel? That is a good question.
and additional funds. Kikazi. Um, I appreciate um, you offering that. If it's all the same to you, I'd much rather uh, send it every time. Otherwise, the bookkeeping on my end gets way too complicated. So I hope you don't want, don't mind too much, but I would prefer to keep sending to make a big score. It at some point it'll it'll have to happen, right? Unreal. See you later, man. Thanks for hanging out for so long. Move to a new table. It's not a bad move in the sense to recover one guy with a bounty. And one last tournament, the 11 Hyper kicking off as well. Getting close to money in the um, 330 Hyper on Stars. But this one, 12 PB. Well, if he shoves, we reshuff. That's a given. Dude, really? Just a board like this where we kind of have to fall to a bit. Mm. Color me annoyed. Yeah, I can't do it with this hand. 
Which is I'd like to chase the bounty. Um, that seems fine. Um, this will be our parting hand, and we'll get it in here. Catch a good flock, why don't we? Um, a few things that are also happening here in the flop top set, which is right. Pretty good right now. <laughs> he makes the back door flush, okay. Here we go, guys. Let's double up. Come on. Come on, come on, come on, come on, come on, come on. It was not meant to be very, very clearly so. Still, I remember one spot that I'm unhappy with, where, you know, I'm unhappy about the actions that I t took. Other than that... Alright, alright, alright. Other tournaments still going on, let's focus on these. Ace is in the high bar of the money still, but no aces. And decent ones, especially for single suited ones, these are mighty fine. So I think we just jam here. Alright, let's go. If we win this, we'll have a top 10 stack, I would reckon. We're gonna play a small five dollar, five euro um, KO on Vinimax as well. That one is a, is that a hyper. No, it's a, this one is a turbo actually. Weird that they have to send icons for their hypers and for their turbos. Maybe in the hyper I don't need to play this one. Question me. Well, the jack really doesn't change anything. We have king high. Which might or might not be good. Oh, we split it up. Fair enough. Ah, oh, bummer. Yeah. Sad about the uh, 100. I was really hoping for a good run there, which is something at least a bounty. <laughs> oh well.
Yeah, GG guys. Thanks. Couldn't do much about it, I felt. I'll certainly look at the video again. If I can, you know, spot any any mistakes that I that I'll notice on my own. Interesting one in the hybrid. No, that's the turbo, right? Yeah, that one has been going on for a while. Could just be a shove. Or, like, you know, parts as race. Alright, let's go wide here. Not saying it's the move that needs to be done there. Wheel. Not even splitting it, just taking it down straight up. Good. Alright, let's triple up. Seven? 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 Ooh. ooh. <clears throat> I'll take some luck. A little bit later though, dealer. Some luck earlier would have been nicer. On the money bubble in the 330 Hyper. Still three overs and a nice amount of chips in the middle. Wow, just complete whiff, huh? happening on the cash game table for now. Okay, so gut shot and three hearts. With three hearts we could just play this aggressively. I think the solver often does uh, with three hearts. Obviously now I wish I had.
We're not folding, but the four obviously is an awesome. Turns out it's not bad either. Made the money in the hyper. And even with uh, 6 BB, 5.5, you're still over near that last. For seven, four one B. Here we flop top pair. Okay. And catch your hand on the cash game table. Unfortunately, he comes over the top, so we are out. Take this one down. Yep, that's fine. Um, not horrible. Definitely not horrible. And the read route will better straight too. Ten of the money in the five fifty mini. I could call, you know, hope to wait the, for the river, see if no spades are rolling off. On the other th hand, we're getting it in versus his draws now. Go to finally the hyper. <laughs> we need a lot of luck there. You know, it being a hyper. I'll try. I'll try. It would be nice. I mean, up top there's like hundred dollars. I'll take it. Um, in the mini gladiator, we flop pretty good actually. Down here, no collars or no collar. Hmm, really? Check it, please. Okay, cool. I'll take it. Stacks of them. I mean, the hypers really are lottery, but they're fun. So to give you an overview of what we're doing, where we're still in, we're still in the 550 uh, Gladiator here, 25th out of 39 remaining, 30 places getting paid. Um, took down half the buying and bounties so far. There's the 11 uh, Bounty Hunter Turbo, where we're hanging in there. Not doing too bad. 18 places getting paid, we have uh, some chips. The Hyper recently started, and damn it, I could have called here, duh. Mess with my hand. Um, then there's this Hyper. And then there's this turbo, and then there's the cash game. All right. Two pair already, huh? Holy shit, sure. The queen <laughs> Holy fuck, man. Today is a day where maybe we just should have stayed in bed. Queen 
Tip Nine Dues. Ade Saperi. Um, thank you for the follow. That's very nice of you. Even for a hand. Uh, <laughs> oh man. We'll just have to meet at the final table. Jack the nine, I think we shove here. The antis are gonna use the life. Uh, it's a somewhat connected hand with the suit. Has to be good enough. And there's, it's a hyper, in the hyper there's definitely full to be, to be had here. Anyway, I flop top two in a cash game. Sorry, here. It's a good flop. Keep it up. Nice. Oh, there you are. That's my friend's the stream, so you are and I ate on Twitch. Let me take the note. Shove again. Also shoving here. Unfortunately, up against the full house, making the uh, flush doesn't help us. What time is it? Um, yeah, we could fire another bullet in this. That's fine. Donald and Malcolm. All right. So there you are. Sorry, here. First, let's call. All right. Triple up then, I guess. Ooh, two percent is not a lot. We even make trips. All right, Alden, twenty-second place there. us in three tournaments getting close to the money here um getting closer to the money there let's see what happens Yeah, regarding uh, somebody, uh, Ohm of G, you put in the um, request for the home game info tomorrow, or just in general. I think uh, I'll go meet my friends tomorrow, have a nice evening out. And probably take off, like, when's the next scheduled tournament? I think it's on Sunday. I'll probably take off a few days until Sunday. 
not because of today, you know, this is just a normal day so far. So don't think I'm like in a bad mood now and I need a few days to decompress, but I've just been streaming a lot and I feel a couple of days rest will do me just fine. Not entirely set in stone, but likely that's what's going to happen. Oh, big pot empty here. Holy shit. Three ways. He takes down, takes out two guys. That's actually fine by me because that gets us close to that money. And that'd be a good start. Not bluffing here. Table. Um, okay. Short stack to our right, that could be fun. you folding. Pretty strong, pretty strong hand, my friend. Tough to argue with that. Top two here in the uh, turbo. Up a little better now in the 550. Short play coming up. Calling here and also calling uh, his race should he choose to try to take down the bounty. Oh, that wasn't you! Oh, god damn it! Take uh, take us ages to meet again and for me to correct that mistake. Damn, damn, damn! My bad. I thought it had a 9 there, I thought it was you. Make a flush up here. Not gonna go crazy with it. Matter of fact, I'll just check. Take it out. Four off the money.
when I come back from the break, we'll fire up some Pilot 20. Sounds good to me. Kikazi. Tourism level sweat. Um, we can figure something out, sure. Can you uh, send me a, a message on Discord, so just so I don't forget? That'd be very nice of you. Also, uh, thank you for the kind offer. All right, um, just ditched the one cash game table prematurely and go on a short break. Take Lewis into the yard. See you in a moment. Catch some Ramgood when we come back, why don't we? Home of G, it should be. I mean, yeah, I don't know if the pool is open. It depends on if they forgot to close it or not. Last time, last week they didn't forget. Uh, they forgot that the week before they didn't. So you could give it a shot. I'll say, I'll tell you one thing. Um, to make up for it the week after, I'll come back with twice as much beer. All right, see you in a moment. Final table where heroes are made. So you see a raise under the gun from Dennis. Table captain here coming in for another raise. Alexi immediately behind. Awesome. We'll make the fold. Awesome. Dennis with ace four of hearts. A fine hand to have six handed. Over to Nikolai in the big blind. Small blind. Did he miss the fold? With ace 10. A difficult spot to be in. When you're short with this many chips, you don't assume that you have a whole lot of fold equity. So it's, it's tempting to, to wait for a spot where you get to force the action yourself rather than moving all in and potentially getting called by the big stack. But Nikolai is going to fold the best hand here. And now it's on Mikhail in the big blind. Who is just going to make the call? And Dennis will take the lead on the flop. So we're seeing a lot of trapping here um, against the big stack. People are often going to take very passive lines. And the problem with that is it allows the big stack to catch up on you, as we've seen in the last couple of hands. Mikhail still has a lot of outs with overcards and a gut shot, although only his king is live. His ace would give Dennis two pair. But yeah, we're seeing another advantage of, uh, of having the big stack. It's that people are compelled to play a little bit more passively against you, and that gives you a lot of free cards, and that enables you to sort of get there from behind a lot more easily. Queen on the turn will give Mikhail the hand, though. Yeah, sure. Barring a king for the chop. Is going to check, continuing to string Dennis along here. Dennis will bet the turn. And now Mikhail's in a beautiful spot because it looks like he can't possibly have a strong hand on this board since he just flat it pre. It's very difficult for him to have sets, difficult for him to have a straight. Should be nearly impossible for him to have a straight, at least the ace king straight. 
but he is actually sitting there with the nut, so this is a, a fantastic spot for him to be in. He will make the call. To the river we go. We'll see if Dennis tries to keep the pressure on. Generally speaking, the preflop razor here gets to apply a lot of pressure because they should be able to have a lot more nutted combos than the uh, person defending. But all right, another roller coaster of three euros. If you mean a hybrid, <laughs> yeah. I don't know. They're, they're fun. I do enjoy it. Um... They over really quickly. Especially towards ragging those towards the middle, towards the end of the session. It's kinda nice. I think I made a final table there once or twice, maybe. Zero twice zero resistance here. Money follow. No 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 no. For the home game I normally Oh Ace is on the bubble here. I normally drink. And this is a day where there's uh, stake tournaments going on. Then obviously I don't. Also, welcome to the channel, channel money, money funnel. He just calls. Um, also, a bit perplexing. If you bust in the bubble, it's fine. We bust with aces. There are worse fates. I don't think so. Let's think positive. Just take this down, ideally, including a bounty there. He could jam. No, but we flop a gutter. This is not a bad board for aces necessarily. And what are we going to do? Gonna rejam. Well, don't need to. There you go. Bit dicey for a moment. He had two pair. is coming away. Wow. Um, not fun to be three ways here, but let's get it in. I don't think there's any other way. as well. That was... Geez, we should have just stayed in bed today. 
Jesus Christ. Oh. Even this guy's short, sitting on a good bounty. Well, they are mm, at times certainly, and they're, they're the most roller coaster like tournaments. Can be very exciting. I wouldn't call them the best, unless it's a KO as well. The variance is just through the roof in those. Hmm? Might be a fun Pilot 20 table. Seeing there was a, a race, a 3 bet, a call, a call. Actually, a 4 bet. Mm, never mind, no. 3 bet. This will have to do. Hmm, come on. Oh, the Lord. Tudor Nuts Channel here drinking. Need to sub again, kill Park. Sub or no sub, I'm always happy to see you here, my friend. We're talking about the home game and how I um, might not be able to join it this week. But if I won't, and it's looking as if I won't, then this we're gonna love this table. Then I'll bring more beer next week. And somehow I got overlooked when the blinds came around, so I'll just post now. On the bubble, the short stack is involved, three ways. Did I want to be involved? No. Just started brewing, really? That's kind of exciting. My favorite beer style. Well, I'll sometimes do like a dark beer. Also, a dunkel. Bock is uh, that's a pretty strong beer, but it's not a bad one by any means. Uh, um, hang on. Mm. Um, but frankly, my favorite beer is uh, just a regular Pilsner. It's a good old boring. Uh, Pilsner beer. I don't know how much, f um, how faulty this guy is. I don't think I'll be turning into two bluff. I could check raise. Let's go for it. Thank the Lord.
What do you mean? That that's so weird. That's a weird sentence. So you started brewing, and you're brewing these without ever having tasted them in real life. So are you not brewing because you want to make your own beer? Because it sounds like you don't drink beer. Because if you haven't tasted any of these, well, then I guess you've been the Pilsner guy. Then we'll explain it, I assume. No, he left. Why are you serious? That is a proper pity. Hmm. Got moved to a new table and uh, hyper here. I actually found one of the few stacks that's shorter than ours. Okay. Still on the bubble. See what happens. Please fold, please fold, please fold, please fold, please fold. You take this one down. I don't know if I can. I don't even know if I can fold if any of these guys call. Because they have two pair, or I don't know. Maybe I'm being too optimistic. Just fold, guys. Now with the beat, he has beat. We need to make runner runner straight flush. That's easy enough. Yeah, okay. If he's tanking so long, then we're not folding. No matter what he does. Hey, we take one down. Take a bounty, take a tip, and suddenly we're sort of a little bit back in this. Alright. Park. I recently started watching more of the Mastermind um, again and specifically looking into tournament things. Yes! A lot of tournaments? Mostly. Mostly. We're only in two. We're in the on the bubble in the 550 mini and Moldy just saw in the 11 hyper. We made a little bit of headway on the second bullet here. I think in the 550 mini we're in the first. Right? That's also true. Why go buck when you call double when you can go double buck, which is a really strong beer. But still very tasty. Very flavorful. I think beats a crisp pilsner, yeah. I think the ones that come with the plastic goat. Which ones are those? I might have forgotten. Possibly also, maybe I never knew. Short six shafts, we're never falling here. Obviously, block none of the draws. Could be fun. Eighty percent. Awesome. So we have a pair. We have a gut shot. We have vector flush draw. Let's see what happens.
I don't think this mod makes for the best bluff catcher. If you include the um, mist space in there. Jabison, hey, thank you very much for the follow. Cheers. Make it a meh day much better. Double Schwarz Weizen Dunkelbock. Because it would have Weizen in there. And I don't really like Weizen beer. Just wheat beer. I don't, know, I don't even know what it's called in English. If it's still called Weizen or. I would put it past the Americans to just use the, the German name. They are still fond of their German words in their language. Brace the, uh, the MTTs have gone meh. If you want to put today's uh, MTT run in a word, it is meh. So nothing exciting happened at all. Didn't uh, fire two bullets into 100 to take down a single bounty. And pretty much all the spots we got into, or most of them, ended up being meh. for change. I think with three spades I don't mind the race. Oh, just noticing he's a short stack. Well then I really don't mind. We made the money in the 550. Hundred percent is pretty good. Take it down. Mm, all right. So never had them. Can't we? Really Can't really get any of them there. Yeah, okay. Isn't like um, ambient temperature a factor in brewing beer? I, I remember having read somewhere that there was some year where it was really cold. I think it was after like if a centuries ago, there was some uh, volcanic eruption in 15, 14, 16, 14, 15, 100, something like that. And so there was a lot of ash in the sky. It was cold. It was cold for a couple of years. I read accounts from, or the off accounts from uh, beer brewers and brewers, I hate that word, in Germany uh, complaining about that the beer was turning out pretty shitty because it was too cold. And I think that might, so I wonder if that's, that's a factor at all. If it can be like too warm in your country to brew a, a decent beer, I don't know. Brew the Haven Weizen already, so we already uh, got started on the brewing, eh? Nice. Sort of food eating, but I need something to get my blood sugar up. DemRB1, thank you very much for the follow as well. Cheers. This isn't a mini. Oh, made it straight. All right. Yeah. Flopping this with our aces in our good hands. It's a pretty accurate summary of our tournament day as well. Hmm. Oh well. Uh, sure, let's limp it in. 
<laughs> that's, a, that's a good name for a beer. Never heard of that one. Ainga Celebrator. Huh? That's, a, that's a good name for a beer. Love to be a fly on the wall on that um, PR uh, on that meeting of that PR team. Wit beer in Belgium. Okay, yeah, yeah, sure. Sounds like I, I guess wit is white then, huh? We just have to have like a wheat beer. Oh God, yeah. I read a, an anecdote that they were like there was. Oh, hang on. They were actually going to go metric, and there was a, a ship on the way that brought uh, it brought over like uh, some some reference, not weights, but like uh, measurements, like a, a meter and maybe a kilogram. I don't know. I might be misremembering. And uh, it apparently got captured by pirates. And that's why they never got the metric system. They were actually going to go metric. Well, yes, I read that on you know on the internet. Uh, take it with a large grain of salt. Sounded like a fun story, though. Get Kings in the 11 Hyper, where we actually cover a guy, too. Um, double suited Kings, so this is just going to be a race. Get it in. Hopefully without the... Big guy to big stack to our left. Perfect. All right. That looks pretty good. Looks pretty good indeed. Nice. We're getting somewhere in this now. Would be cool. So it is a factory. You have to put it in front of the AC, huh? Hey, if it works, interesting stuff. A bad towel. Yep, yeah, that'll work too. Um, so he min raises. Let's mm, an ace. A ten, really? Vinegar. Might's in here for the German style beers a week before the Magnus. Oh, you do, Herr Tund. Every time you're here, I keep misidentifying you as a German. Just because of Nick, but now I do remember that uh, you are in fact American. Yeah, when I spent my year in the US, I was not of legal drinking age, at least not there. And so I didn't pay much attention to the kind of beers that you had back then. Weizen means wheat. Yeah, exactly. Hefe part is... Uh, Hefe part is the exact... Uh, Hefe means yeast. Yeah, that's exactly it. I'm still of the king high flush. And fairly easy let down, uh, lay down. Well, also let down. If we get erased. Gonna rejam. Much doesn't matter what this guy does. Let's get the next bounty. Alright. Nice hand. 
<clears throat> Haste is the next one, alright. Probably unfolding just yet, depending on what he does. Actually, go for a tiny sort of block a bit. The, the nine is annoying. We're still good. All right. I'll take that. Yeah, I remember that. Soda bottles. Them being metric, like half a liter or whatever. Pretty nice run out over here. Okay, so we got our chips back from that guy there. Um where's the other guy in there? Here we do get here we do get a call, which is just amazing. Oh, 160 splash there. Sitting on three buy-ins, so the cash games are treating us fine enough for now. So hopefully not jinxing it. Up like 50 euros there. Two pair, the back to flush is certainly not falling. I wonder how much longer rebuy is in the hyper nine minutes. With 24 places getting paid, so this is not gonna take too long to get to the money. Very nice. That's also pretty nice. him by 0 0.1 BB. All right. Good bounty too. Let's remain pure here. We do awesome stuff. We get a call here as well. This, this part of tonight is all right. Where was that earlier today? Possibly case in point down here. Queens and eights now. With that, we are. Well, actually, that one hasn't updated yet. Here we go. Call. Also, some potential there. Those pirates must have been <laughs> um, Unfortunately, we cannot talk about that. Risk of getting the channel shut down. At least that's what the voices in my feelings tell me during the daily broadcasts. Losing is not an expect. Getting caught by top set? Uh, that's a different story. That was weird. Yeah, one liter is just too small for the American market. Nice bluff catch here, you 
don't have it, dude. You just don't have it. Give it a hand. Uh, three ways, flop and check, check. It was limped that this guy raised. Call, close in the action, I call again. Um, flop and check. On the turn, I lead out with three pair. This guy folds, he calls. I'll check the river, he bets, and the rest you saw. That was fun. In the 550 hyper stats have updated, we're 11th. I uh, can't bluff here anymore for this, uh, this sta these stacks. Let's hope you're good. Ooh, very nice. Yeah, so we're in the middle of the field. Pay jumps are still not terribly exciting. But having a few bounties and having a the first cash is a good start. Good fault by us, man. That's all I'm gonna say. All in here. I like it. Oh, let's split it up. Okay. Network here ends in three minutes, still 11 places. Uh, sorry, 24 getting paid. All right. Straight flush draw. All right. Come on. Mm. 
Nice turn, but my friend. Batch cash games have been going well. They have been going pretty well. Everything has been going well for the last eight or ten weeks, so I'm really happy about it. Also good to see you back, Batch. Yeah, today we're up well, like 60, 65 bucks. Pretty neat. Player 3 is another game, huh? Here there's a bounty at risk. Holy shit, player 3 is another game in another table as well. That's a good flop. You we were not folding. Uh, we're just gonna shove ourselves. For some reason you wanna fold and that's fine by me. Don't have hearts. Come on, you can do it. Oh, come on. Giving us hearts here as well. Really would not mind seeing a check. Versus the 10 8. Nah, that's a bummer. Catch a nice hand in the 11 hyper. Doing the last long game last week. <laughs> yeah. That was too tilting. I need to take a week off from the home game. This stream is. Uh, isn't getting a juicy rake back. Yeah, yeah, that's true. But that'll change soon when Runner Bonds has certain goals, which is jam here for the stack and pretty much everything involved in this hand. Okay. Catch a nice hand here. Dude. Yeah, that's my tournament day in a nutshell. like these. Yeah, from what I read, from what I heard, the sitting goals are closer than ever. And I think at this point, when they say soon, when they, when they being the Rio uh, staff, um, get asked when the what are called the sitting goals are going to be released, they're saying soon. I think now it actually means soon. And. Once those are there, um, they make a perfect addition to the tournament grind on the side. I'm very much looking forward to that. Seen all in here, I'm almost called as well. It's a tiny bit too thin. Well, actually, a good deal too thin. Not even through the DAs, I'm realizing. Just in time. Kings in the hyper. Let's double up. Did 
I don't have to do. Take it down. Just good call. Should be good. We should be good right now. Okay. Okay. Why am I not? Why am I surprised? Really, why am I surprised? It fits perfectly in line with how this day has been going, which have, again has been horrible. It's just been like meh. Meh. So, one last run at the final table. One last run at the first place, rather. These kings are mighty fine. They might just help. Fine flop. Um, can't be said about that one though. seems fine. Uh, closing the action I called with, you know, obviously really sorry kings. But getting an amazing prize, we don't need to flop um, good all that often. No, 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 oh, no, no, no. I, I assume, you know, in my youthful innocence, that uh, there will be a PLO as it goes. Hold them? No. Oh, no. Yeah, I really hope they don't miss that uh, that opportunity to implement them for P for PLO as well. That would be brutal. Two pair here with the bounty. Um, we're gonna let them bet and then take it from there, I guess. Doesn't bet. All right. I'm gonna call here. So a lot of things missed. I'm not sure if I would fold here. Turns out we don't need to. I d I was. Uh, batch one of the very first games I played um, on a semi-serious basis years and years and years ago was Hold'em Sit and Goals. I don't know if any of you remember the Matrix Sit and Goals on uh, Full Tilt. I played those up to $50 buy-ins. I was doing really well on them. 
Um, I think uh, how, how did it work? I think you played you paid one buy-in, and then you played on four tables at the same. So if you bought if you bought them for fifty, you bought for one fourth of the. Um, you played four tournaments at this four sitting goals at the same time, and. So it opened four tables, and it was, there was some sort of point system, I think. Like if you got a point for knocking somebody out, uh, things like that. I mean, it's been ages since I thought of that, that I thought of this. And... Anywho, it was a weird structure. I played them and I liked them. I can't really explain the structure anymore. It was something point-based. And on each table you played for... I don't know, I think the buy-ins all got put into a, like a so, sort of pool. Like the buy-ins all got pooled and depending on the points you had, you took your share of the buy-ins. So sometimes you could get like three, four times the buy-in or more. I don't know if any of you remember, maybe you can explain it to me how to, how to work. Clearly it has been too long for me to remember myself. But yeah, be that as it may. Those days are long gone, and I don't think I'll come back to playing Hold'em, uh, sitting goals. Just the quarties neatly avoided um, a nasty spot there in the river. River flush here, that should be a happy thing indeed. pair is good, as it turns out. Also interesting, and this is also pretty all right. And get a snappy call there too. I'm just checking. I reckon there's certainly still queens in there, not to mention aces. Turns out to be good. Let me take it down. That's a nice one. It does complete the flush. Perfect turn. Holy schmidt. These players. I dabbled in the. Um... Wait, did I check here? <laughs> I didn't mean to. I dabbled in these too, the double uh, double and I think I kinda like the, the setup too. Uh it's gonna be tough to get called. Mm. 
And those were the days when Americans could play on real stars. Those were the days indeed. The mages were so they were super soft, which is also why I played for uh, for my uh, bankroll back then for outrageous buy-ins. So you do remember the matrixes as well. Yeah, I, I, gr I grinded those for a while. Ah, oh, that's been ages. Later we're sitting on uh, 50 BB and our 11th out of 14 remaining. That's kind of disappointing. This is not too bad, I think, against Hari Jara, we're just gonna check race. Cool. And we got this, and we got this down here. I've already checked in so far. Um, makes me interested. Love making the nuts straight. Hate making it in hearts. Or well, with hearts. In hearts, I wouldn't mind, because then that would be the royal. But let's not be greedy. I got two of those a couple of days ago in one session. Pretty special. 20 I went to the prop for each individual, then the last was given to the top three of. Right, right, right. I think, um, yeah, right. The, it was important to be among the top three across all the four sitting goals that happened. You're right. That's the call yet. Um, let's see. For part. Really? Is that value? No. Should have been less. I might have folded. Hmm. Big hand down here. Holy Schmidt. This guy waking up.
We do, however, find more cash games. So we're sitting on five Rio tables now. Leaderboards are good value right now. Um, yesterday, like, uh, they got more rake back than they, they got more than 100% rake back, the leaderboard grinders. Pilo 10, Pilo 20 right now. Top spot in the leaderboard gets 100 euros and has raked uh, 55.70 euros. That really ain't bad. Against this guy, I don't know if I want to fold against this guy. I think we see a flop. Won't pot it? Oh, we're still gonna call. If we have spades, I think we have the best hand. If he hits spades, and this is also a decent card, giving us an open ender and everything. Actually, a actually a wrap. Um, argument could be made for shoving now, so we don't get bluffed off of our hand, which could be good. Mm. Which is exactly what might happen now. All right, fuck it. No, not like this. Oh, dude, not like this. Why could aces? I wouldn't have. I would have been fine. You have aces. Take it down. And play the play this hand very loosely, but not like this. Surprising, he had the spades cover too. All right. Um, certainly dislike my call on before the flop less now. What was that? Ace five. Oh, wow. That's a three word right there. Alright. This guy likes betting part, huh? Kind of helpful. Should be easy to identify him if he's sitting on other tables then. Nine on the 14 now on the 550, which is still on break. First place, first place actually wouldn't be bad. It's uh, with bounties 120, if you do good in bounties uh, up to uh, 300 bucks, that really isn't too shabby. Actually just slightly less than the 11 hyper, that we, 11 hyper KO that we got knocked out of. All right. Hey, thanks for watching for so long, man. Uh, thank you very much. For the good luck fishes as well.
I wonder why that uh, Nightbot command with the advertising thingy came up again. It's set to come up every 50 minutes. Sorry about the spam, I guess. Interesting. So we don't lose this player, no he falls. That is nice to see. We do make our straight. Unfortunately, there is no diamonds on board. Um, this should be good. And he made the diamonds as well. Here, queens versus queen, really. And I reckon after that one, they start to become sort of interesting. Actually, it's pretty much only the final table. That's where the pay jumps get exciting. Should be good by the Lennon Bluff. If it does, I'll come over the top on the. Well. Now it just come. Come on. Alright. Do we still cover you? No, we don't. That's extra brutal. The sweet, sweet bounty is out of reach for now. Um. Feels about right for today. That feels about right indeed. All right. The good news is Louis won't have to wait for his walk much longer. So we're gonna play the last hands on the cash game tables and then call it a night. And it's a night I, on the whole, could have done without. Oh well. I guess these days are good for being able to differentiate between the good and the bad. Yeah. Oh, Chi Ching is alive. That's right, Chi Ching. She's always so happy to see us coming coming over. And you should be uh, you should be able to win a chance to play heads up against her and if you win the heads up you will get a percentage of her weekend winnings provided there are any but quite often there are Pretty fitting ending to a day that was filled with spots and runouts like these. OK, 
Okay, so one last hand here. How we how do we make out in the cash games? We made a little bit of a profit, right? Mm, yeah, a buy-in. We were doing better earlier. But yeah, that was a big hand against the one dude. Oh, okay. Ooh, ooh, ooh. Right. So as I said, I probably won't be joining the home game tomorrow. If you guys want to play Pilo 4 and Rio, uh, give it a shot. And see if the pool is open tomorrow. If not, next Friday it is done. And with that being said, I will be back on Sunday. And what are we going to do on Sunday? I think it's the WCOOP main event, isn't it? Yeah, it's the 109 freeze out WCOOP final. 9 o'clock on Friday. Uh, sorry, the other thing, on Sunday. And with that, we've played all the hands that we're going to play today. Um, let me actually, I mean, I haven't imported all the hands, but let me actually check out the chip graph for today. Yeah, that just about figures. It ha doesn't have the party hands, but it does have the hands from uh, Vinimax. Um, not the day where we ran OAB. I see some sad spots here. Oh well, it is what it is. All right, let's hope the run good has been saved for the big 109 300k guaranteed on Sunday. That'd be fine by me. And with that, I will call it a night. Let's head over to cheating, see what she's up to. And I'll see you on Sunday, most likely. Thanks for keeping me company, for keeping the chat a lively place too. And I hope you have a good night and a good start into the weekend too. Cheers, everybody. Take care.